and welcome to GSC Live Mornings, uh, members of Good Shepherd and friends of Good Shepherd and friends of mine. Thank you for joining me this morning. It's Thursday, May 7th, day 55 in this stay-at-home time together. We're together in all of this. Um, yesterday, I closed by saying I would explain myself in this shirt that I sometimes wear. Uh, Emparo, Emparo, if you wish to pronounce it that way, is an acronym. Accompanying migrant minors with protection, advocacy, resources, and opportunities. It's mission work. Empato, as a Spanish word, is protection. The two fit well, hand in hand. Now, <clears throat> when I said migrant minors, mm, there may have been some red flags go up for you. Well, yes, because it's mission work. And whenever I lead a group um, of friends or members of a congregation into a mission project, the first thing I like to tell people is, hey, this is mission work, and it's messy. It's going to get messy. You're going to get frustrated because it might, you might find that something we're doing clashes with some of your personal understandings or the personal the way you do things personally. That's mission work. And that's why we talk about accompaniment. Instead of us imposing the way we do things onto other people, we accompany people to learn about how they do things and how they, over generations and generations in their time and place, have figured out how to do things that work for them. <clears throat> we come in as Christians and try to follow uh, the Word of God to accompany them where they're at. <clears throat> so what do you do? What do we do in mission work? Well, Micah 6, 8, do justice, love kindness, walk humbly with God and man. That's how you do mission work. And that's what we do. That's what we do to thank God for this incredible gift of grace. It's what we do. It's hard at times. We will goof up at times. We will plead for forgiveness at times. But that's part of it. We dive in and we do. I'm going to end there, my friends. Um, Micah 6 8. I'll read it again. O mortal, what is good? And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly? with your God. Um, I'll continue with this thought a little bit more tomorrow. I'm going to keep it a little short today. I want you to think about this. Um, and I encourage you to open your Bibles to Micah um, chapter 6. Read the whole chapter, especially verse 8 through the end of the chapter. Um, might rattle your cages just a little bit. Might even make some connections for you in this um, very interesting time of living through a worldwide pandemic. Um, let's pray. Good and gracious God, we are all about receiving from you the many, many gifts of life. Our role in all of this is to live and love in ways that show thanks and praise to you. May the way we say thanks to you be shown in all the things we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day, folks.